Sometimes you may need a way to modify or extend an existing theme without making changes to the theme's code. This is where child themes come in. In this lesson, you'll learn what child themes are, why you should use them, and how to create and use a child theme. A child theme is an extension of its parent theme. Using a child theme allows you to extend or modify any part of the parent theme without making changes to the parent theme code. To understand how this works, let's look at a simplified example. Install and activate any theme from the WordPress theme repository in your local WordPress environment. In this example, the 2024 default theme is installed and active. Let's say you want to customize some part of the theme, for example, the footer layout and structure. You'd prefer it if the site menus were on the left and the site logo, title and tagline were on the right. You also want to change the footer credit to reference your company name and update the URL. One way you could do this is inside the site editor. You could find and edit the footer template part and then make the changes you need. Moving the menu to the left and the site logo and tagline to the right. And updating the footer credit. What if you wanted to reuse those same changes on a different site? You would have to manually make these changes in the site editor every time. You could of course make the changes manually in your code editor by navigating to the 2024 footer pattern, which is used in the footer template and changing the content of the pattern. But what happens if there's ever a theme update? During a theme update, the entire theme is replaced with the updated version, so any changes you make to any specific files will be lost. This is where child themes come in. By creating a child theme, which includes only the specific changes you need, you can activate the child theme and the change will be applied. If there are any future updates to the parent theme, in this case 2024, the modifications in the child theme will still be applied and the changes will remain. To understand how child themes work, it would be a good idea to create your first child theme. Let's use the previous example to create your first child theme. In the WP Content Themes directory, create a new empty theme directory called 2024 child. Inside of that directory, create a style.css file. Then add the following theme header to that file. So we're specifying the theme name as child theme of 2024 and the template as 2024. Now browse to the WordPress admin area and navigate to the themes page. You should see the new child theme listed there. Activate the child theme. And then browse to the front end of the site. You'll notice that the site looks exactly the same as it did before. This is because all of the theme elements are inherited from the parent theme. Even the footer is the same. All WordPress themes unless they are specifically a child theme, are technically parent themes. Child themes are slightly different to parent themes in that they have a special theme header field in the style.css file that defines which parent they are a child of. This header field is the template field, 
the value of this field must match the folder name of the parent theme relative to the WP content themes directory. This is also sometimes referred to as the themes slug. Therefore, in this example, this theme is a child theme of 2024 because it has the template field defined as 2024. What you can do now is select which specific parts of the parent theme you want to modify. For example, if you just want to modify the footer, you can create a new footer.html file in the child theme directory in the same relevant location as the footer.html in the parent theme and then make the changes you need to the child theme footer.html. One way to generate the child theme footer is to make the changes you need to the footer template in the site editor. Then switch to the code editor view by clicking on the options button and selecting code editor. You can then copy this code and paste it into the child themes footer.html file. So in our child theme, we would need to replicate the footer.html in the parts directory. So we can create the parts directory, create the footer.html, and paste the changes. With the child theme active, the changes you made to the footer.html file in the child theme will be applied, and the footer will be displayed as you want it to be. So let's check the front end of the site. And we can see that the changes have been applied to the footer. It's worth noting that a child theme can extend practically every part of its parent theme, not just the template files. You can extend template parts, patterns, styles, even custom theme functionality via a child theme. While it is possible to create a child theme manually this way, you can also use the Create Block Theme plugin to create a child theme based on the changes you've made in the site editor. To do this, activate 2024 and delete the child theme you created earlier in this lesson. So we'll activate 2024 and delete the child theme. Then, if you haven't already, search for and install the Create Block Theme plugin. So in Plugins, Create Block Theme is already installed, so we'll just activate it. Next, navigate to the Site Editor and make the same changes to the footer template part. So in the Editor, we'll find the footer template part and make some changes. Let's update that link. And finally, save the changes. Once you're happy with the changes, open the Create Block Theme options by clicking on the Create Block Theme icon in the top right hand corner of the site editor. So there is the Create Block Theme icon. Select Create Theme, and then Create Child Theme. Give the child theme a name and optionally add any relevant theme metadata. So we'll say, we'll call it Jonathan Bossinger, and Jonathan Bossinger Child Theme. When you're ready, click the Create Child Theme button. The child theme will be created and the editor will be reloaded. If you navigate to the themes page, you'll see the new child theme listed there, installed and activated. If you browse to the front end, you'll see that the changes you've made to the footer template are applied. Finally, if you open up your code editor, you'll see that your child theme has been created. For more information on child themes, see the child themes page under advanced topics in the theme developer handbook. 
You can also read more about the child theme specific header fields in the child theme header fields section under the Theme Developer Handbooks chapter on core theme concepts.